Alrighty, welcome guys to another episode of Immigration Stories. Like we said before that we're gonna bring a lot of people from different aspects of life sharing their struggle and journey in Canada. This time we are with Mr. Kumar. Just to give a brief, he moved from Dubai to Canada a few years back. He works in a software testing industry. He is a career manager right now. And then he has a very unique, very nice story that he wanna share with us regarding his struggles of finding a job here, how he got settled, how he bought a house. A lot of things we're gonna discuss with him. So welcome, Mr. Kumar. Thank you, Deepak, thank you. Um, any reason why that you moved from Dubai? I mean, Dubai was a nice place. It's closer to India, very nice weather, nice money. Why you moved to Canada? Like my dad was in Dubai for almost 20, 25 years. Oh, nice. So during when he was working, that mom and I went to Dubai somewhere in 98, 99. Mm -hmm. So when my dad turned 60, 65, like uh, the retirement age, right? So, because he was expat for the whole that life period and uh, he has to move back and uh, spending whole his life in Middle East, in Dubai, you know, he has to go empty handed in like there was no pension or some kind of old age, some mm -hmm. kind of security which every individual want. So, during that, my initial phase, uh, I decided myself, okay, and after doing some initial studies like how the you know the education kids uh, education or the jobs or the health sector so these are the some criteria which uh, pushed me okay to move to, move to Canada. Move to Canada. Uh, yes, I think you are right, and and a lot of people who we have talked who actually moved from UAE or other countries is like one of the reason why is because they because Canadian government they give you certain kind of a status, you know, yeah. um, a permanent resident status, and even you can get a citizenship after spending your time here. And I think that is very important apart from getting money. Yeah. Um, so you, did you came as a work permit or did you came as a permanent resident? I came as a permanent resident with okay. whole family. Uh, I think that moment is was federal Skill worker? Skill worker, sorry. Right, okay. I think that was one of the programs which were very popular that time to which a lot of people came here. Or when you decided to move from Dubai to Canada, like especially in first, I would say first month, what was your biggest challenges? Uh, as you were moving with the family, it was a completely new place, uh, weather is different. So what was the main challenges that you faced while moving? Uh, one of the biggest challenge uh, was for me is finding the right accommodation mm -hmm. because uh, I have two kids that moment like those are one is five years and one is three years so mm -hmm. for me it was uh, I need a place which is secure enough right so this is for the bigger audience I must say like before you move in like uh, do your pre-work where you are moving and what kind of locality are you looking for me, it was uh, kind of like we were moving from Dubai and we were living in an apartment and we find that's the safest place. So uh, I was searching around all the condominium building around and what other amenities nearby. And plus uh, getting used to the weather. Okay. Because we thought, okay, we got all the, you know, the kids protection tool like everything. the jackets or trousers everything but it didn't work when we I in think, the first winter yeah i think it's hard to anticipate the the coolness here right you okay. can you can feel okay it's gonna be minus five minus ten but what it actually feels like to that's, be minus five minus yes. ten it's just different story that's true how about the job um did you work part-time few places what are the places that you worked on uh, before you actually finally got a job in your own field? So, one has to prepare himself because uh, it's a different country, different culture, different environment. Like, uh, 
So as you mentioned, yes, I'm also in the same boat. Like uh, I have to work part time. Okay. So I work part time in couple of retail store. So that give me opportunity, you know, how to interact with the people mm -hmm. that helped me. Plus, uh, I didn't lose my focus because mm -hmm. I was stick to I want to do part time job which can uh, give me enough money to feed my family and to pay my uh, you know the rent. So my recommendation to the people who are listening to me, it's uh, good to have a part time job which can cover your uh, day to day expenses, but never lose your goal main where focus. you want main focus. Language. The reason why I'm asking is that uh, I have we have we have you know met a lot of people who moved from a very good positions mm -hmm. here and obviously they couldn't get a job right away and they were like why do I work in a retail store why would I work in a coffee chain uh, I mean I'm I was in such good good position uh, so that's why I want to know your uh, your perspective in there. So one thing you know when you moved here right. Uh, Things won't be easy. The people say, oh, you don't have a Canadian experience or you don't, you know, sometime, what is the culture difference? Exactly. So once you do get into any job, and I'm not saying you are doing a full-time job, my recommendation to part-time job, mm -hmm. to learn the people, how the culture, and to know about Canada, it's the one of the best place where you can interact with the uh, different people, different nationality, different culture and uh, I don't think it, anything better place in that. To start with I guess. Yeah. Since you bring up the topic of Canadian experience, um, what was your main approach that helped you to get land your first job? So the first thing, uh, your resume because that's your the marketing tool like exactly. your marketing itself. So resume back to Dubai or India is almost similar. Mm -hmm. There is nothing like you have whole year history, like uh, your name, religion, this, passport number and all that. So when we moved to Canada and uh, there are certain government owned agency which guide you okay, how to your resume should look like. Because here we are not asking what's your date of birth or your <laughs> religion, whether your gender and all those. Your hobbies. Your <laughs> hobbies and uh, it's a simple just like uh, I had some, you know, contact through my LinkedIn mm -hmm. profile, mm -hmm. which they were helpful. Okay. And plus uh, the people who are in the similar field. So then we used to go meet with them and to check with them. Okay. Okay, this is uh, my resume look like and how, what's their suggestion and try to listen to them and uh, that's really helped. Nice. So you worked in, in Canada mm -hmm. now and it's been like, I don't know, five, six years now you've been working. It's more than that. More than that. And then you worked in Dubai as well, uh, same line, right? Any work culture differences that you find between Dubai and Canada? When it comes for the your deliverables, it's remain the same. Mm -hmm. We are much polite okay. <laughs> in Canada. Okay. <laughs> that is one thing I also feel that too. Uh, I worked in India as well and there's a difference here. Uh, the way your subordinates yeah. talk to you. Yeah. Um, but I also feel that and that's why I was asking you a question. It's more respect, polite polite way it doesn't yeah, matter yeah. what which 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 position you're starting from that's true and uh, plus people call you by name call you my name <laughs> i was it's no sir or madam we used to call like sir and madam or and it's very that's one really good point deepak you mentioned like uh, people those who are moving from india and it's very hard to come, to come out from that to calling exactly. by name right even my kid calls a 60 year old with the name yes that's how the culture is right yeah. that's that's i really like about it though yeah. there's no sir madams here yeah. right so next question is for the people who are looking for jobs specifically in software industry 
um, if they want to apply to one of the positions say your company put in and as a hiring manager or as a QA manager what would you look in a resume for that person that will differentiate the candidate from others and what would you you look into position so that you want to say okay I want to hire this guy or I, at least I want to interview this guy I must say the things have changed what for sure it used to be five years back or now um, I won't say the manual is out but still now the people going moving forward toward more automation mm -hmm. for sure and uh, person should know whether it's a Java Python all those computing languages and uh, what's in the market whether it's artificial intelligence with the machine learning or cloud computing because now we are looking quality engineering it's not just the manual, manual QA. QA anymore yeah. so I think uh, that is a trend I have seen as well uh, I have also working in the same field that uh, either companies are getting developers to do the role of QA so they are just eliminating QA yeah right so in one of our videos we made on how to get a job there are a lot of people who ask is uh, hey if I want to apply for a software testing role uh, I am a chef or I'm a nurse I couldn't get a job here uh, looks like that can I apply to a software testing job um, what are the things you think one should do if they want to completely switch their line and wanted to apply for one of these jobs uh, I will say no one succeed if there is no internal passion or anything. That's true. And at present, like uh, Sheridan and uh, Seneca, they are offering quality assurance, quality engineering courses. By the way, Sheridan and Seneca are the local colleges. Yes. Uh, nearby, there are a lot of colleges like. And this. I see majority of all the international student, there. like they also goes to Sheridan and Seneca. So they do offer those courses mm -hmm. and uh, you will have an edge because you will be doing your certification here and plus even if you don't have experience but you will have a Canadian education, education. experience. Onus goes on you whether there is a passion, desire or a hunger. It's not an easy job. It takes it takes it takes yes. different skills. Yes, it, it different, different skill different. set uh, exactly. in order to and plus you need to upgrade yourself every day. That's right. what I say. Like if you don't keep a pace with the industry, then you will be very quickly out. But the chef who want to be there as a chef, he will still be surviving. Exactly. Are we talking about chef? Um, I heard that you are also a very good chef, and as well as <laughs> an IT person. Right? Yeah, so Do that's a chef. Well, like the cooking is my hobby. Okay, it's in a hobby. It's a hobby, but my quality engineering is my passion. Is your money. <laughs> is the money that is coming in, right? Yeah. Uh, people have changed careers completely after yeah. coming here uh, and they succeeded. I think it's the hard work and your passion in the end of the day that's that, right. that man's. Um, so, lastly, I want to talk about the most important topic and most mo the topic that we really like is about the housing. Currently, there are a lot of people who have been asking us uh, on different videos that we post and we, we keep posting videos to motivate and to guide people, especially the first time home buyers, just to just to guide them or just to share our experience and what what they should go, what type of house they should go, how they should do the strategy to save up the money and everything. Any advice for those people who are still renting and wanted to buy their first home? what what they should do now at this crazy market uh deepak uh, there are two factor comes to it if you guys can afford it yes i will say yes That's it's true. a good point too and if you are in the process of your career development mm -hmm. i will say give priority to your career then to the house, house. because the career development it you know like if you put more effort in the end what you are imagining I can buy this house but if you are reached to certain your career goals you might be able to achieve a bigger house or property what you are thinking now that's true yeah. so my advice should be look which which phase you are in they are at this moment try to focus on your career that will be my advice for them and but if you can afford it yes if you can afford it, then why not? 
it's a good time to buy it and uh, there are because I have seen so many of your video your recommendation about the places so it's a good place to explore it and uh, Save whichever yeah whichever is uh, place suits to you just go and buy and uh, enjoy all right um, thank you so much uh, I think we have covered a lot of things all the way from Dubai to Canada yeah. talked about different aspects of the jobs and hopefully that must have given you some kind of inspirations must have answered some of the questions that you might have doesn't matter you're sitting in Canada right now or out of the Canada if you have any questions for us related to any of the things that we discussed the jobs anything related to what we talked about please put that in comments below and I will make sure that Mr. Kumar will also help answer those questions we will not just answer Mr. Kumar will also help us answer those questions till then We'll go and see what he cooks for us because I'm too hungry <laughs> and he promised they're going to cook a fish for us. Yes. Right. Uh, we're going to try that fish and we'll let you know how the fish goes, how it tastes like. And we, I should put a video of cooking along with We that. will put a video of the cooking as well <laughs> if, it's, if it's good. Yeah. Uh, till then, keep watching, keep smiling and stay healthy. We'll see you till our next video. Thank you. Take care.